Well, this is how we solve the problem of this dreadful toaster that spits out toast, it shoots toast out into the sink, onto the floor. It's just a badly behaved toaster. We made a concrete sort of thing. See, this is made out of cement. It's made out of cement. We moulded this and put it on the top. Whenever we're making toast, we put this on the top. And when the toast gets fired out the top, it hits this thing and it doesn't fly out. And yes, we could have opened the toaster up and mucked around, but I mean, you know, this was easier. This toaster is so temperamental, it was easier just to make this gadget for the top. And it's a CELTA toaster, C-E-L-T-A, if you're interested. And, um, yes, I won't be buying one again. <laughs> I won't be. Yes, that was our contrivance, and it works okay. Primitive, I know, but these are primitive times we live in, aren't they? See what I mean? Well, this is our new toaster. Our new El Cheapo $23 toaster. It's 21st century technology. And, well, I'm not sure that it is a sort of a very uh, clever invention because we'll see what happens in a minute. Let's wait for a minute see what happens to the stupid thing. Oh, it gave me a fright. It's the most ridiculous contraption. It just spits toast out like you'd expect to see in an old 1930s or 40s film. Oh, the drier the toast, the higher it goes. In the kitchen, it spat toast out into the sink, it spat toast out onto the floor. So, if the toast actually caught on fire, it would start a fire in the house, wouldn't it, really? It could start a fire, this toaster. It's 21st century technology. It's not performing properly for us now. It's being temperamental. But in the kitchen it's been tossing toast into the sink and onto the floor. And I don't know what to do about it. Now that I wanted to do it for YouTube, it's not going to comply, is it? It's a temperamental little thing, obviously. I can't be allowed to toss flaming toast everywhere. See what I mean? Let's see how it goes this time. I'm not going to do it for us. <laughs> 